pickup trucks, beer, pride. All of these things are national staples of the United States of America. Over time, many men have led this amazing country, but none are more fathomed than that of President Ronald Reagan, the 40th President of the United States. During his presidency, Reagan achieved many things. Heck, if we were to talk about all of his accomplishments, we'd be here all day. Also, it would probably trigger Mr. Robert because I'd be talking about a Republican for a really long time. But all of that is beside the point. Let's get into the video. Ronald Wilson Reagan was born February 6, 1911. As a child, Reagan was a gifted actor and very athletic. In school, he played a number of sports from football to swimming. Ronald received an athletic scholarship before graduating, and he enrolled at Eureka College where he majored in both economics and sociology. He auditioned for jobs at many different radio stations and was hired to broadcast local football games. Eventually, he became the broadcaster for larger titles, such as the Chicago Cubs baseball team. In his 20s, he began working towards a career in theater. He acted in many movies, such as King's Row, Bedtime for Bunzo, and Hellcats of the Navy. Here's our chance to log every inch of that channel right into the Sea of Japan. Not long after this, Reagan began noticing subtle hints of communism in the film industry. After seeing all of this behind the scenes, his political views shifted from liberal to conservative. As he began to become more and more involved with politics, he eventually pursued a run for public office. In 1966, he won the California governorship. From 1968 to 1976, Reagan tried for the presidential Republican nomination, having no luck. Finally, in the 1980 election, Reagan was nominated for the primaries. In the general election, Reagan beat Democratic President Jimmy Carter in a landslide, capturing 51% of the popular vote and scoring 489 electoral votes. At 69, Ronald Reagan was the oldest person to ever be elected President of the United States. As president, Reagan called for an era of restoration and hoped that America would again be a beacon of hope for those without freedom. I guess you could say in many ways that he wanted to make America great again. <laughs> uh, oh wait. While Reagan had claimed a huge victory, it wasn't long before an event unfolded that would shock the United States. In a blinding assassination attempt on March 30th, 1981, it became evident quickly that the president had been hit. Doctors discovered that the bullet had pierced one of his lungs, barely missing his heart. While this frightened many Americans, Reagan made a surprisingly quick recovery. Within several weeks of the shooting, he was back at work in the White House. By 1983, the nation's economy had started to recover and enter a period of prosperity that would last throughout Reagan's entire presidency. He announced the Strategic Defense Initiative, a plan to develop weapons to protect the U.S. from terrorist missile attacks, as the Cold War was very prominent during this presidency. Also on the foreign affairs front, Reagan sent 800 troops to Lenabon as a part of the peacekeeping force. This, along with a few other factors, caused the ongoing Cold War to mean a better end. So many achievements to his name in his first term made for a historical re-election in 1984. He won a total of 49 out of 50 states and received 525 electoral votes out of 538. Soon enough, Reagan was sworn in a second time to work for the White House. In his second term, he focused on forming a diplomatic relationship with the chairman of the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev. This led to Reagan's famous speech of the Germany-Berlin Wall in 1987. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Two years later, Gorbachev did order for the destruction of the Berlin Wall. This ended Soviet domination over East Germany. After stepping down as president in 1989, Reagan and his wife resided in their prior home in Los Angeles, California. In 2004, due to his Alzheimer's disease, Reagan died in his Los Angeles home. He was buried in front of the Presidential Library in California. In many ways, the 40th president was a historical leader that gained the following of a huge majority of the United States. He was able to efficiently hold office with only a small amount of political background to his name, quickly recover from a near-fatal assassination attempt, and assist in the ending of the Cold War. President Reagan left a legacy on this country that will never be forgotten. 
And that's going to wrap up my presentation, y'all. I hope y'all all enjoyed.